my darlings, in today's video I'm going to show you how to achieve this prom makeup look. I wanted it to be different than the traditional prom makeup, so I made this fresh and light and dewy. It's definitely springtime inspired, which means that it's also fun and youthful. And the best part about it is, every product that I used in today's video is from the drugstore, which means that you can find it at your local Target, Walmart, Ulta, Walgreens, Rite Aid, anything like that, you can find all of these products, which I love because they're definitely affordable, but they're still amazing quality. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. First, I'm going to start with Milani's Luminoso Blush. This is super popular with the YouTube community, but that is because it is so gorgeous. So I'm going to use my Morphe M403 brush and I'm going to work this onto the backs of my cheekbones and then slowly pull it forward, working in back and forth motions, but also in circular motions to make sure it stays super blended. I really want this to be a nice pop, so I'm gonna apply a lot of product, but I am going to soften it out with BH Cosmetics 123 brush. And if you would like to see my foundation and brow routines, I have both of them linked in the down bar down below. I'll actually be switching up my lip color later on in the video, but this is ELF's matte lip color in the color Dash of Pink, and I'm going to top it off with NYX Butter Gloss in the color creme brulee. Then I'm going to pick up my Sephora Pro Smoky Shadow Brush, and this is number 30, and I'm going to dip it into Ulta's eyeshadow in the color Seashell. This I'm going to place all over my lid and bring it up into my crease. This is going to be a nice wash of color that's super sparkly and very light. Next, I'm going to pick up my Morphe E18 brush and I'm going to dip it back into seashell and work this right along my lower lash line. I really want this to be light yet still have that smoky eye shape and that's exactly what this gives me. Next, I'm going to use my new favorite highlighter, and this comes from NYX's Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. I actually have a full video dedicated to this product alone. If you're interested in hearing a full review on this product, I will put a link in the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to pick up Sigma's Tapered Highlighting Brush, and I'm going to work this right along the tops of my cheekbones and really bring it onto the apples of my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, and also a little bit on my chin. Then I'm going to pick up this Ulta Eyeshadow, and this is in the color Golden Age. This is so so gorgeous. I cannot say enough about this shade. I think it's beautiful. And I'm going to use my Luxie 223 short shader brush and I'm going to place this right in the center of my lid. This is going to give us a nice subtle halo look, which I love for prom. Next I'm going to use another Ulta shadow, and this one is in the color Rose Dusk. And I'm going to pick up my Sigma E25 brush, and this color I'm going to work into the outer V of my eye, but also into the inner corner, and then I'm going to connect those two spots, basically creating a nice halo eye that's still very nighttime appropriate and dramatic enough for prom, yet still being light and youthful, which is exactly what I was going for. Then I'm going to mirror exactly what I did on my upper lid and I'm going to place it right along my lower lash line. So I'm going to dip my E25 brush into Rose Dusk and I'm going to place it on the outer corner and the inner corner. Then I'm going to use a pencil brush, dip it into Golden Age and place it right in the center. Then I'm going to continue to deepen Rose Dusk until it's dramatic enough for prom. Once I completed my eyeshadow look, I realized that the lip color really just doesn't go as well anymore. So I'm going to pick up my NYX lip liner. I'm going to wipe off everything I had on before, and I'm going to first line my lips and then fill them in with this color. I think that it reflects the peachiness more, it's not as bright, and it's definitely still that beautiful nude tone. Then I'm going to top it also with a NYX product. This is NYX Butter Gloss in the color Creme Brulee. The same one I used before, but now placed over this lip liner looks incredibly different and I loved this lip combo. 
Next, I'm going to pick up a blender brush and I'm going to blend right over top of all of my eyeshadows to make sure that no harsh lines were created. Then, as you're going to see in the next few clips, I've decided to deepen up a few more of the colors, basically just repeating steps that I've already shown you in this video. I realized that I could have edited these out, but I really wanted you to see exactly how I achieved this look. So I just continued to dip the same brushes into the same colors and just continued to deepen them up until I am perfectly happy with the way that they look. Next, I'm going to pick up a Pacifica eyeliner, and this one is in the color Fringe, and I'm going to place this right onto the outer two thirds of both my upper lash line and my lower lash line. I'm not putting anything onto my waterline, at least with this color, because I want it to be a little bit smoky, but also still very natural. I like that this is brown in tone and not black because I didn't want it to be as dramatic or harsh as a black liner can be. Then I picked up Ulta's eyeliner in the color Halo, and I'm placing this along my waterline to really open up my eyes. Next, I'm going to use Wet n Wild's Mega Length Mascara. This is a recent favorite of mine, and I especially love this on my lower lashes. So I placed a coat on my upper lashes, placed one coat on my lower lashes, and then I'm going to pop on some falsies, and that makes a huge difference. Next, I'm going to use Revlon's Precision Glue and place this right along the lash band. These are Ardell's Double Ups in number 202. I love that these are nice and wingy and I just adore these lashes. Then I'm going to place another coat of Wet n Wild Mega Length on my lower lashes to really make sure that they match the drama that's going on with my upper lashes. Then I'm going to cover up glue with some of that eyeliner, use L'Oreal's Infallible Setting Spray, and the look is complete. I love that this is fresh and light and dewy and it's very unique. Have fun at prom! Next week I have a special celebrity inspired makeup look coming your way and if you don't want to miss out, please click right on over there to subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to see other videos by me, I have a few of them linked right down there. Just click on the thumbnail and it will lead you right to the video. And I also have my special series linked in the down bar below so you can check those out as well. I love you all my darlings and I will see you next Friday in my new video.